All right, guys, we are hopefully finally going to figure out the secret to season seven. This is my third attempt to make an episode to unlock all of the mysteries of season seven. And I've been making other discoveries, which has been great. Um, but it's it's almost frustrating at this point how we are, how long it's taking. But that's okay. At least I'm figuring it out so that when you get into the season, uh, you don't have to um, wrestle with it at all. So uh, there's no no struggle there. So um, here we are at the Secret Grove, which is uh, already a key to many of you. If you want to be able to do this season without a lot of PvP, you're going to want to milk the Secret Grove as many times as you can. Uh, you won't be able to do it all in the secret grove um though i've never seen this one so we'll see this is like a weird dungeon very different than the ones the pvp ones it's like they know this is not a this is not a pvp zone and so they went ahead and created something different for us that's kind of cool wow i'm amazed this is amazing for a secret grove this is really good loot. Okay, everyone should be doing the Secret Grove. Uh, this is a key to a Season 7, I would say. I mean, it's not going to be all your points, but... Man, this is amazing. It's just a big amount of freebie. Um, great job, devs. This is awesome. Um, no one can raid me at this point. So, now you're going to have to do a lot of work, right? It's not... This is not easy you know you're I'm using weapons right now I'm using very high level weapons so it will be harder if you're using low level weapons so you got to factor that in I'm 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 definitely playing the pay to win route right now um, because it just makes it for a faster video but if you I mean this should be pretty easy to see you know bring some stacks of meat some cheap armor draw guys out two at a time because they don't let you do one at a time and uh, you know eat the food that they drop down and you know you'll be fine um, there's no PvP so you don't have to worry about you know you can go very cheaply very very cheap on your gear and even your weapons and uh, there's no time limit okay so we just got seven miss from that zone, which is not bad, uh, considering it's a free seven zone, a free seven miss. Um, but unfortunately, it is one short from being able to do the altar of transformation. So I'm going to open this basket. I'm gonna do something a little daring. I'm gonna put those nine uh, mist in there. No, that's stupid. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to put these hammers in there. And this, this green gear. Alright. I'm going to come back and check it later. I think I could put the mist there and it'd be fine. But just in case something goes wrong, I don't want to lose the mist and have to redo this. Or make this episode go super long. Um, I mean, we would cut it out as the editors, uh, or the editors would cut it out, so it'd be annoying for the editors, and it'd be annoying for me, not you guys. You guys would be like, great, doesn't seem any different, but, all right, let's go to the giant forest. Last couple times I've gone to the giant forest, I have not found a mist thing anywhere, so hopefully they fix that. I have been noticing, oh, wow, there it is, that was easy. So, you know, we are going to have to, people are going to have to reset zones. And so, in the OBT, people aren't resetting zones. But you also have, oh wow, this is in, okay, maybe the, the dungeons are based on yellow forest rather than, yeah, so it's just a yellow forest zone. Okay, I'm going to just leave real quick, because I got the tin mist that I need and I'm gonna hopefully get a water sign yes I got a water sign 
I did it. Our first quest towards the season is going to be completed. Here we go, season seven. All right. Then we'll, 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 we'll see what happens after this. I, I'm getting, this is all for like what? Like 20 season points. <laughs> but if I had known what I'm doing and what y'all are gonna, by watching this video, you guys, I'm gonna be able to show you guys exactly what to do. You're not gonna be wasting the time that I waste. All right, I got you your water sign. Boom, 20 points. Now you want an air one. Boom. All right, let's go get him the air one. We already have one. No big deal. We already have one at the base. And then he's probably going to want a earth and then a fire. And unfortunately, I used my earth, my fire one in the first video because I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, and I still had two missed. So I did get a lot more missed than I thought I did. Um, wow, I got a lot of miss. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this air one in here. All right, going to put you in here. And boom. Claim. Bring an air and a water. And I'm only going to get 20 points for both of them? Oh, no. These are worth 20 points each to Guy Lane, but you're telling me I need only, I'm going to have to give you two for 20 points. All right, guys. Well, I think I've figured out the catch, uh, but it's not as bad as you think because you can see here that with just 40 points, I was able to get eight levels. Now that is going to slow down. No, it's not going to slow down. 40 more points is going to get me nine levels. Wow. Okay. Well, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. So you get a lot of points, but it doesn't seem like there's a limit, but I do think it is going to get harder and harder. I bet you that's how they limit people from getting here is they make you have to go, I like, get, you know, go get a one of every sign and you're going to get 20 points. It's going to be probably annoying. Um, maybe I'm being too skeptical, but I just feel like that's how, you know, this is how Kafir works sometimes. And so, um, but that's okay. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to do these quests 45 times. Um, so I already have an air symbol. Let's try, go try to get another water symbol. Let's see how, how hard these escalate uh, or how fast these escalate um, in difficulty um, because that will give us a measure. But... At the end of the day, it seems like, okay, we need a water sign. The last place we went was here and we got a water sign. Notice, I'm, I'm not saying this is how it is, but I just want everyone to notice that the two times I tried to get a symbol at the rock zone, I got air. And the one time I went into the forest zone, I got water. Not saying that's like a guaranteed thing. I'm just saying it's a pattern I'm noticing. This is what I do. I, I focus on patterns like that and then I verify them over and over again. I'm because I'm, you know, this gameplay video, I'm kind of speaking as I go. I'm letting y'all know some of my thought process. I'm just, I'm filling you in on what I'm thinking. But normally I would you know, verify it before I even said it out loud. Cause I don't want to, I don't, don't want to lead you guys astray. Um, or get you guys thinking, Oh, it has to be this way. And then getting disappointed. You know, there's going to be some people that, that just come behind other people and see these tombs and they're going to be like, you know, just looting the, the leftovers, you know? Some players that have been kind of, that are grinding this out are going to just leave green gear around because they're going to be like, ah, it's not worth the points. And so someone else is going to get a gum in and grab all the green gear. 
Maybe. Man, I, I mean, some Frostborn players are more, like, intense than that, so. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but so far, I'm excited to see how it plays out. It seems like it's going to be a lot of points for a lot of players, and that makes me happy. Oh, yes. In the nick of time, I didn't think I was going to get 10 missed, but I did. All right, now we just need to get a water sign. So you can see it is super easy to get the 10 mists and to, and to turn it in. There's no waves of mobs here. Um, so it's pretty easy to get these. Oh, look at that, guys. I got a water. So just for note, I'm going to do more research. But two times I've done it in the forest, I've gotten water. The one time, or the two times I've done it in the rock zone, I've gotten air. So it says you can get it in either location, but so far the numbers have been lining up, lining up perfectly. That air is in rock and uh, water is in forest. And so if we line that up, fire I've gotten in a rock, the red rock zone. And therefore, Earth would be in the red forest zone. If that's true, I'm not 100% sure on that. It's still very early on. But let's go ahead and turn in this um, water and air to see what the next step is in Season 7. And then I'm going to try to do a rough calculation on how long it's going to take you guys to complete the season. But I will say this, it does seem like you'll be able to complete the season. There won't be um, much of a time, like if you just play all the time, like the zones will just be able to reset. Um, all right, here we go. Turn it in for 20 season points. And now he wants me to do two air signs. Okay, well, two air signs for 20. So that, I mean, now it makes sense, right? Why, you know, the side quest, which is supposed to be way less, is 1,500 points um, to get to the stun bow, um, whereas the main quest is only 900 points. I mean, that was... But each thing you do gets you, like, four levels. I just got a Wrath Staff. Um, it's definitely easy to do early on getting those two air symbols. Y'all saw me do that. It's going to take another, you know, 20 minutes. Um, I need to just do more calculations for you. I need, I need to get further ahead. So maybe I can find someone who's already been working at it. Um, and they can kind of share some of their information with me. Um, but I can say right now that it's going to be very easy to get, you know, halfway through. That, that's often how Kafir does things. Um, but they might make it um, difficult to, uh, to get when you get down to the last. Like, the quests are so difficult. So many of the, you know, two fire, two earth, ten air, ten... I don't know what they're going to request of us. Uh, so that you are like, screw it, I can't make it. I'm just going to buy the plus 10 to finish it out. But there's 100 levels. So, you know, your plus 10 at $10 is, it's not going to go that far. You know, so keep that in mind. If you're at 90 and the quests are just so hard and the season's running out, then sure, you know, go for it because you're going to get all those quests you're going to get the premium but just keep that in mind you know 10 is not a ton of of levels so um it's in, in fact it's very easy to get levels early on uh with those quests you, you can see i mean i just did 12 12 levels very quickly I think when the, this update first comes out, now that y'all know and you're not going to like accidentally give it over to the altar like I did, if you are focusing on, no, I really want to go through Season 7, I want to get all the way through here, get all the Legendary Armor, get all the, the Thor 
uh, flask. If that's your goal, then you're going to want to just start doing what I'm doing right now, what I did in this episode, just basically from the beginning. If you get a earth flask or a fire flask, which I'm pretty sure earth is from forest red, fire is uh, rock red, red rock, and then uh, this is just speculation, but the air is um, orange rock, and then... Um, water is orange forest um you if you get one that you don't need maybe you kill someone maybe someone you did some pvp and someone had they're not personal items uh and you grab that orb man take that home store it away keep it safe um until that quest comes up to where you need them so um there's going to be a lot of people out there looking for people with quests and so uh, or looking for people with those, you know, signs, um, the different elements, they're going to try to kill you. And so, you know, keep it, keep it secret, keep it safe. Don't, don't keep it on you unless really you should never have a sign on you when you go into a zone, right? I mean, if you're turning something into a, a sign, you're going to have your 10 mist on you or your 20 mist on you. That's, you know, that's just part of the the casualty of of how to play this game that's Frostborn. I love that aspect of this game, but I know it frustrates some of you guys. Um, but that's when that you're going to get ganked. That's when you can get ganked, so be careful. That's when you need to test out the zone, see how many people are there, uh, put down some traps, get away traps, make sure you keep a dispel on you. Uh, so you can get away, but ultimately, or maybe you get your team to get on. Maybe that, maybe you know, one thing that you could do, um, especially if you've got a good team, is you could just save up a ton of mist. Okay, crazy amount of mist, hundreds of mist, um, a whole massive full of mist. And then when your whole team's on, you say, okay, guys, let's go and control a zone, and you make sure you own that zone. That you are con you are controlling that zone. You got the best gear on, and then your teammates come in one one teammate at a time. Three are geared and have a good fortification with traps. And then the other person goes and gets some of his mist and just cashes them in, and then leaves. Okay. Um, if y'all get ganked by another team, which is rare. Okay, that's not like this is not like super common in Frostborn. To be like, oh yeah, another full team is trying to fight us. Right now, the game is not like super active in the sense that there's a whole another active team out there. Um, so you get if they, but if you do get ganked by a team, then you just the three of you fight while the fourth one runs with all the orbs that he's created. Uh, or all the mist that he just brought in and he gets away with his mist, okay? Um, and you create a ton of orbs at a time. Um, but I don't think, I honestly, you know, y'all saw my other videos. I can make more videos if you need to on how to be sneaky about it. But there's a lot of ways. You can also just wait until the zone's dead. And, you know, as long as you're not giving away what you're doing, people aren't going to sit there and stock you out you know so that's it guys that's how to complete season seven my guess is that's going to be about 25 hours of playing the game and that may seem like a lot but you have to keep in mind you're going to be getting so many points for your level four classes so it's i'd say it's worth doing getting all of these rewards is just a perk to the fun of pvp if you're into pvp you're going to love this uh, season and um, and and if you work together as a team you're gonna dominate four free-to-play players can dominate um, two pay-to-win players so um, three pay-to-win players might be the four man team but um, you can do really well and so especially now that they added the five quick slots um, to make it easier for uh, players that don't aren't as good at the inventory trick so i would say this is a pretty good this is a pretty good season i would give it your time it doesn't have a class at the end i'm really bummed devs i really think y'all should have added you know one of the old classes pathfinder 3 
Um, that you know, you could have just a berserk three. You just throw any class in there. Just always have a class at the end because it's special. If you don't have a new class made, just put one of the old classes up there. It's still worth it for the points. Maybe someone already has Pathfinder three and they're not going to be as motivated, but that's just that one person. Everyone else is going to be motivated uh, to try to unlock that Pathfinder 3. Um, and so I think you should have done that, but maybe you didn't think about it. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall, good update, worth working at it. It's going to have a lot of fun, uh, dynamic PvP, and we'll get a lot of points for getting our level 4 classes. All right, guys. See you next time.